Hello everyone, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel. And as you can see from the title, we're gonna get right back into the Planet of the Apes movies. And if you haven't seen my reaction to the first movie, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere and you can check that out. Um, but we're about to get into Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And for my snack for this two hour long movie, I have some butter biscuits with strawberry preserves and a berry protein shake. As you can see, I'm craving berries today, or maybe that's every day. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this movie because it's about to be a long one. And to be honest, I've been putting it off for a while because of that. <laughs> okay, is this Caesar? This looks really serious. Oh shit! Since when is Caesar a father for real? They own horses? I guess they kept the horses from the fight with the cops? How long has it been since that? I mean, it's clearly been a while. Apes, don't kill apes. Apes together, they're strong. Knowledge is power, or knowledge is strength, probably. Oh, Caesar got a queen. Did she just give birth to another baby? Oh! It seems you have a sibling. I hear everybody cheering in the back. Oh my god, I'm a family and a tribe. I'm gonna cry. It's only like 10 minutes in. Look at him reminiscing. Like he a real grown man. So they think that humans are extinct. Are these the brothers? <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> no, 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 no. For real? What the f No, no, no! Well, the humans that you thought were extinct? Are definitely not. Yeah, I don't know what y'all about to do now. Outnumbered and surrounded. I mean, they do have guns. Oh, no. We don't mean any harm. Oh, yeah? Yes, these do. Put your guns down. Put your guns all the way down. Dad, how come what are you doing? Dad, how come? It's okay. Yeah, you better show a sign of peace real quick. Go! Go! That's one way to get them to leave. Oh, 
Yeah, don't send a gorilla out there. Cause he ain't going out there just to follow. <laughs> what? What's wrong? The uh the dam's pretty much intact. It can probably start generating power for us within a week. Okay. But there's a problem. Get in. Okay, so they got quarantine zones. Oh yeah, this is a typical apocalypse then. You're not hearing what he's saying. <laughs> they spoke that is not possible. I'm telling you, Dreyfus, they did it was incredible. Incredible? They're talking apes with big ass spears. Wait. How are you gonna tell me what I heard and what I saw when you weren't even there? Okay, it was unlike anything you've ever seen before. And the leader, he was remarkable. Really? Is that what you thought? It's what we saw. Yeah, it's what we all saw. <laughs> <laughs> he said. <laughs> Shit. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. But I say, sh like, let them send out more reinforcements towards us. But I guess they want to prevent them from being on their front doorstep, basically. Maybe then it'll be too late. Maybe that's why I'm not a ruler. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to jeopardize anybody before we have to. But I guess Caesar want to talk to him. God damn. That's a hell of a lot more than 80. <laughs> yeah. You hear that? Period. You understood that. Reasonable. You heard the man. Is it really that instant? We've been through hell together. I mean, as a leader, you gotta put motivation into your people. Gotta put that fire back in their heart so that we can fight when it's time. That damn is the only option. Well, then we fight them. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, how do you know that he will even understand you? He's more than just an ape. For real. I'm gonna take some men up to Fort Point. I'm gonna go through the armory. I'm gonna see what's still working. Three days. You're not back in three days. We're going up there. I'm not gonna kill every last one of them. I've gone over to my head. I think if I don't at least try this, there's gonna be a war. Exactly. But this is the sensible thing to do. Take me with you. What if someone gets hurt? You'll need me there. I don't want Alexander to be alone. I'm coming too. It was Alex. Oh, I figured. Son, it's not safe. I'm safer with you than I am down here. Family road tripping? Or should I say a family field trip? I respect this man for freaking trying. Stepping up to the plate and doing what needs to be done since nobody else want to step up but got so many opinions. Because his partner could have been like, you know, let's go down there together. I want to see things for myself, but no, scary ass. I 
I would just put my hands up. <laughs> exactly. Don't come back. Don't. I know, I just... I wouldn't be here unless it was... Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> just say what you gotta say on your knees, sir. Pause. But if we can just get this, this dam working... Then we have a shot at restoring limited power. <clears throat> this is your home. And I don't want to take it away from you, I promise. But if you can allow us, let us do our work here. You brought it on your Just a few. Just no guns, please. But somebody's about to mess this up. Like, cause why is he holding a gun in his hand? But people begin to trigger happy for me. Like, calm down. We're gonna give him our guns. But it's the one condition. Okay. What does that mean? We can stay. Oh, they're destroying them. Exactly. Exactly. Human work. I know. Human work. You better tell him, Caesar. You better let him know. Like blame the apes. Who the hell else am I gonna blame? It was a simian flu. It was a virus created by scientists in a lab. The chimps exactly. they were testing they didn't really have a say in the Spare lab. me the hippie dippy exactly. bullshit. Exactly. What? Tell me you'll get sick to your stomach at the side of them. Huh? No. Pointing the blame at the wrong people. At the wrong thing. I'm the asshole. No, I get your pain, but the apes are not at fault. They didn't get asked to be kidnapped and taken away from their family to be brought to the human world and tested on in a lab. That's one way that can heal people from their trauma is animals, something about them, or just caring for something outside of yourself, even if it's just plants. Like connection heals. Connection Hills. I don't know if I just felt an earthquake or not. Some was shaking though. Damn. They weren't lying about firepower. And this is not gonna help. <laughs> with him seeing the humans any differently. You are one ugly son of a bitch, aren't you? Do not shoot him, man. <laughs> He's making fun of you guys. Stupid monkey! Not expect that. I mean, it's valid concerns on both ends, man. Kids will be kids. See, proves kids don't know hate, they learn it. <laughs> I don't know the difference. <laughs> He's so little. <gasps> hey, hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. 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 Oh. 
Oh, Caesar. No. Caesar. 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 No. Thank you. Wait. Caesar, wait. Shit. No. Ah, shit. He's showing mercy. Human. Leave. No! Don't know why you upset. We leaving because of you. And now there's all our war about to happen. Is he about to... Oh, no. Malcolm? Oh, no. He gonna try again? This my home. Oh, she's a doctor. She can help. How long has she been this way? Since she gave birth? I have medicine. Do not trust you. I don't blame you. But believe me, we are not all like him. Yeah, definitely not. It's crazy how they like in his living room right now or like in his bedroom right now. <laughs> you stay one day. You might need a little more time. One day! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get him out of here. Come on. Get out of here. He should understand why he got to leave. Hell, he was holding a gun when they were sitting in the car waiting for this dude to come back. Like, yeah, you need to go right now. For real. See you tomorrow, asshole. Man, everybody has lost everything. Oh, no. They gonna think Caesar is turning on them. working for these humans? He ain't gonna have this. Caesar love humans more than apes. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry to your disrespect. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, really it in, Caesar. You almost lost it there, buddy. But he did disrespect you. He did. Him just like that other dude that they just sent to the car to leave. They both need to chill, okay? And your worries are justified, but you gotta understand what Caesar is trying to do for real. He's trying to create peace. The humans just want the water, let them have the damn water, and then they'll be gone. We set up a border and a boundary, they pass it, they die. No if, ands, or maybes after all of this is done. Like y'all not gonna be just coming up here thinking that y'all can just parlay and chill, like nah. Give them their space, and they'll give you yours. Don't be trying to infiltrate your way into their property after this. And what are we shooting at? Like, I get his target practice, but... He gonna go get himself killed? No, he's gonna be the, per the reason why they start a whole freaking war? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do that. Well, he understood that, didn't he? Yeah. He gonna play like a silly monkey, a silly ape, and then beat your ass. Oh, 
Oh, she's well. Glad everything worked out for you guys. You know, just calm before the storm. Did he really shoot Caesar? Wait. They're framing the humans. Oh. Because nobody saw what's his name shoot him. He said run. And now he gone. <laughs> wow. I mean, the humans did start all of this, but at least they didn't start this war. Because I was waiting for them to start this war. What is it? The apes attacked the armories. Grab your kids and run. Now they may have got their hands on some of our guns, but that does not make them men. Mm. Animals! We will push them back! And they will not get through these doors! Oh well, yeah? We'll see about that. By the end of all of this, Caesar gonna survive. Because he got plot armor. And another thing is... This fool here that started all of this needs to be called out for his betrayal and treachery. But then the law where ape doesn't kill ape is gonna change. At this part, it looked like we on like a roller coaster. You know, they have like those um, movie themed rides at the theme park. Caesar. Really? No, his eyes are moving. I'm about to say no. Like, the Caesar got plot armor. Like, dude's coming out with a new movie this month. Let's not play like that. It always take one bad apple to poison all the rest. This man. So he gonna put fear. <gasps> For real. Cause this man gonna get you killed. All out of hatred, which is granted, but you can't let it consume you like this. I knew it, but this is Caesar's son. And you need to take his son to Caesar. Your father. He's alive. Exactly. That's what I would be doing. Son. Why do I feel like if Caesar's son was in human form, they would be like similar in like personality and stuff with this kid? Like very, like, you know, soft and not the fighting type, not the aggressive type. I mean, if it wasn't them doing it, it would have been the humans and they would have been trapped in those cages. Again, one and the same. He broke them out and brought them. Can I get a revolution? Look at this. C4. Yeah, this I figured. Works. Malcolm, tell him how this is a bad idea. Tell him how we gotta stop. This is not the way to go. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do this. We need to give him a chance. We need to give him some time. Caesar. Caesar. Us. No. Yeah. He's like, here we go. Apes together, strong. Caesar. Weak. Weak. Cobra, weaker. You better tell him. Ooh. They got a fight. 
No, I've seen things. I've seen the way they are. They want what we want to survive. They don't want a war. They're animals! He's not going to hear none of that. He not going to care because he didn't go out there and see them living like regular people, trying to survive, trying to live, have a family, have a home to protect, like anybody else. Don't fall off the edge, Caesar. Did he just sacrifice himself? <clears throat> Why is this giving like Lion King vibes right now? You are not a Bye. No! Sarnara. Imagine getting hugged like that from an ape. That's special. What do you have planned next? That was such a good movie, guys. Such a good movie. I can see what the rave is all about because I think on Rotten Tomatoes or something, it was like 90% or something that the people loved this movie more than the first one. I didn't predict that the apes would start this war. I just automatically assumed that it was gonna be the humans. I don't know what that says about me though. I just thought they would just overreact and kill the apes off just to have the water if the apes wasn't willing to like, you know, share the land or whatever. But the biggest thing I take from this movie is just not letting the hatred and the jealousy and just all those negative intense emotions get the best of you. Like, just don't let it consume you. But it's just sad to see stuff like this just keeps repeating over and over and over until people can get a hold of their own emotions. Like, it's not up to anybody else but you. But anyway, I definitely rated a five out of five stars. I would definitely watch it again. Um, I'm excited to edit this just so I can watch it again. So leave me a comment down below letting me know what's your favorite part of this movie or what did you take from this movie because a lot of stuff happened within these two hours <laughs> and i'm curious so let me know down below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested bye